physiology of smooth muscle the excitation contraction coupling in smooth muscle is a process by which muscle excitation is linked to the muscle contraction and this may be electromechanical in nature when the smooth muscle is excited by the depolarization of the sarco lamell membrane or it may be pharmacomechanical in which the smooth muscle is excited by some chemical agent or a drug or it may be just mechanicomechanical in which a muscle is excited by the stretch the resting membrane potential in a visceral smooth muscle ranges from minus 50 to minus 70 5 millivolt as you can see here sometime it may be as low as minus 25 millivolt so this peculiar ability of the resting membrane potential is known as instability that means it does not have a true resting value but it keeps on oscillating between minus 55 and minus 35 millivolt as seen in this figure leading to the generation of this pacemaker potential which in turn is because of the rhythmic changes in either calcium permeability or the activity of sodium potassium atpase pump and it leads to the generation of these slow waves which are characteristically seen in stomach and they are generated from interstitial cells of kajal which act as a pacemaker so when the depolarization reaches a threshold potential an action potential is generated and then transmitted to gap junction The first one is the graph shown in red color is a spike potential a typical spike potential is similar to that seen in the skeletal muscle and it is mostly seen in a single unit a muscle fiber then the second graph shown in blue color is the superimposition of slow wave rhythms by this spike potential that causes the rhythmic contraction of the smooth muscles whenever the potential rises above minus 35 millivolt then there is a generation of action potential followed by the contraction of the muscles the third potential as you can see here is a prolonged depolarization which accounts for sustained contraction of smooth muscle fiber here you can see the plateau phase is there and it is seen in for example the ureter the uterus and vascular muscles it is an action potential with the plateau So what are the similarities between the contraction of the skeletal muscle and the smooth muscle is that both require ATP both require calcium and the mechanism is the sliding filament theory however the difference is the smooth muscles have to contract for a sustained period so there is a slower onset of contraction and relaxation they are slower in cross bridge uh, cycling the formation the detachment the slower atpase activity the slower kinetics however greater force of contraction is generated by these muscle maybe 4 to 6 kg per cm square as compared to the skeletal muscles resulting in a sustained contraction so the mechanism which explains for the contraction of the muscle is the latch bridge mechanism or the latch state mechanism in which the two essential features or the facts remain that myosin cannot interact with axin actin until the light chain is phosphorylated one and the second one is that calmodulin helps in phosphorylation of this light chain by activating myosin light chain kinase and it is a regulatory protein so keeping that in mind the regulatory protein as i said in the smooth muscle is not troponin instead it is calmodulin which is mediate which is mediating uh, the regulating the contraction of the smooth muscle cal modeling is nothing but this protein which then binds to calcium and the binding of calcium with the cal modeling result in activation of important kinase that is myosin light chain kinase and this phosphorylation of myosin chain is done by this myosin light chain kinase and dephosphorylation is done by myosin phosphatase so this calcium calmodulin complex is very important in regulating the muscle contraction in smooth muscles because until unless this myosin light chain kinase is phosphorylated it will net it activated it will not result in activation of uh, myosin light chain let us understand the events of smooth muscle contraction first there is an excitation by nerve or a hormone 
resulting in triggering of action potential, resulting in influx of calcium from the extracellular source into the muscle interior and also release of calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. This increase in calcium, which mainly comes from extracellular fluid, result in binding of calcium to the calmodulin complex, leading to the activation of myosin light chain kinase. And this myosin light chain kinase leading to the phosphorylation of the light chain of the myosin, which is a crucial step. Until and unless this step is there, the muscle contraction will not occur. Contraction. The muscle contraction will follow the same steps, ATP binding, ATP hydrolysis, the retention of the products in the myosin head, cross bridge formation, the release of ADP and phosphate, then the power stroke generation. The first step is crucial that is phosphorylation of the myosin chain, uh, light chain as you can see here. Then ATP binding and hydrolysis, release of phosphate ADP and then again power stroke generation. The cycle will continue again and again till there is dephosphorylation by the myosin phosphatase and then it will reach a non-cyclic mode. So what is the difference in contraction between the tonic and phasic even if the contractile machinery remains the same is because of this latch bridge mechanism of smooth muscle. This latch bridge mechanism is a state of tonic contraction by the smooth muscles during which the force is maintained at a very low energy expenditure or low ATP utilization. The latch bridges are nothing but the dephosphorylated myosin which dissociates from the actin very slowly producing slow bridge cycling therefore maintaining the tension in tonic contraction. The cycling rate is decreased by this mechanism. The tonic muscles maintain a sustained contraction and that is possible because of this latch bridge mechanism. Latch state reflects the dephosphorylation of myosin light chain. We know that myosin light chain is phosphorylated by myosin light chain kinase. So what happens when the calcium level decreases? There is activation of an enzyme by the name of myosin phosphatase which removes the phosphate group from this myosin light chain and when it is removed uh, it goes in the phase of non-cycling but there is a phase which is known as latch bridge or the latch state in which the myosin light chain which is dephosphorylated it remain attached to the actin molecule for a longer time resulting in a sustained contraction with less ATP expenditure. So this phase is prolonged of dephosphorylation of myosin light chain and this is very important because until unless the muscle reaches in a state of detachment it cannot be rephosphorylated again and since this phase is prolonged it will require a greater time for detachment and then rephosphorylation. So this is the latch state resulting in a sustained contraction especially seen in the tonic muscles present in the sphincters and the airways. The significance of this is the ATP utilization is very less approximately 300 fold less so lesser ATP requirement for a greater force or even the same force as for the skeletal muscle resulting in a sustained contraction meaning it more energy efficient and maintains the tone of the muscles. Now the relaxation of smooth mu muscle occurs when the calcium level falls below 0.1 micromole and it is much lower than the threshold that is required for binding with the calmodulin as a result of which the calcium calmodulin complex and the activation of myosin light chi chain kinase will not occur and the muscle will go into the phase of non-cycling or the relaxation. The calcium which is present in the myoplasm will be slowly removed by a mechanism of calcium ATPase pump which is present in sarcoplasmic reticulum, the calcium ATPase pump which is present in the sarcolemal membrane and also sodium calcium exchanger. So all three of them act slowly and pump the calcium level 
into the sarcoplasmic reticulum or the cell exterior bringing about the process of relaxation and the myosin phosphatase is just a reverse of phosphorylation of myosin light chain kinase and bringing it to the non cycling phase the bibliography 